What's up everybody? This is DJ Buster B. This is not a DJ video. This video is mainly for all the RC guys that follow me on YouTube now. I'm starting to get some more guys subscribing to my channel that are into RC planes like I am. And this video is mainly about ground station update. Uh, I've been flying on 5.8 gig uh, for the video for about a little bit over a month and a half now. You know, getting used to this FPV stuff as far as flying with the screen and because orientation gets all turned around. I mean, years ago when we did aerial photography, we just flew, we used the screen to line up our shots. Then we kept our eye on the plane as it was in the air. But this time, it's all flying the whole time, except once you take off and circle around, then you look into the screen from that point on, from the total flight until you land with the screen. That's what I've been doing. Just getting used to the orientation with that kind of thing, you know, because you can be disoriented very fast, you know, flying with that screen. It's almost like a roller coaster. And just getting used to that in the on-screen display, I'm using the um, basic uh, OSD right now. It just show, shows voltage and time. I'm doing all this stuff just to get the practice and practice in before I get my big in the air that has the um, storm OSD, well the tornado OSD and with the GPS return home and everything. I just want to get used to flying this kind of way before I put that plane in here. That plane is already ready, it's ready to go sitting on the wall right now but I'm just using the old slow stick just getting the feel of flying around with video and you know just antennas and antenna you know the, as far as pointing your antenna in the correct direction because I'm now I'm messing with some um, helicals. I built this one right here, this is 5.8, this is a four turn for you RC guys that know about all that kind of stuff. Basically copper wire, you got a reflector back here, you got your SMA connector right here. Works pretty good. I also picked up um, another one right here. This is an IB Crazy one right here. Both of them work pretty much the same. Yeah, I just velcroed it to a little piece of wood, put it on the back. And on this ground station update, I got two 5.8 gigahertz receivers now. One has the Cloverleaf Omnidirectional. This has the Cloverleaf Highly Directional helical antenna right here. And put some voltage mod. Finally mounted these voltage monitors on the top, so it makes it easier. I got a bigger battery pack now to power everything, cause um, this is a Zippy 3000 milliamp runs for a long, long time. Cause now I'm running diversity on my receivers. As you guys that um, that are into FPV and diversity, this is the Eagle Eyes Eagle Tree FPV station. You got, um, see the LEDs inside here, you got an AVN1, AVN2, diversity, tele telemetry, which I'm not using right now. I'm just using two AV inputs, which are my two receivers. And this box right here will pick the best video quality as far as you, when you got your, um, in a, anytime you have glitches from your antennas or anything, this box right here will pick the best one and switch back and forth. So that's why if you're far away, use your uh, directional helical. As you get closer, if you get behind this antenna, the signal will then carry over to this omnidirectional and this box right here switches to both so you got two inputs and you got uh, four audio and video outputs i'm just using two outputs one goes to my um, fox tech dvr which i moved up here and the other one goes to video monitor so very simple of course i'm into i'm highly into wire management so everything is all tied up labeled neat so you won't have a mess when you're out there but so what so far this versity box has been working pretty good i had to update the firmware with the usb port because it kept switching very fast. I did it, did it, did it. So, updated the firm firmware and uh, changed a few settings for diversity and flew this morning. I did about a little bit over a quarter of a mile and it worked great. It switched back and forth as needed with these two antennas. But um, as I was saying before, I'm going to probably get into um, lower frequency because 5.8. Yeah, 5.8 just doesn't penetrate a lot of trees as well because it's a small signal you know very small wave versus low frequency you have a big wave and just like bass notes you know bass goes a long ways you hear bass before you hear somebody's tweeters in the car so same thing low frequency versus high frequency so i'm going to i've already purchased some um 1.8 gigahertz uh transmitters and receivers and also i picked up a couple of these uh these are the i'd be crazy the 1.2 1.3 gigahertz clover leaves this is for the ground station this goes on the plane this is the omnidirectional, which will go on one receiver. And also I got um, got the big one right here. This is the the big receiver into the right here. I'd be crazy. 1.2, 1.3. And this one right here is the 9 decibel, 9.5 decibel. It's about 100, 120 degree beam angle on this thing. This is made for long range. I'm gonna mount this on a tripod with my omnidirectional and I'm gonna mimic the same setup that I have on this ground station. So. One tripod will have these two with the receivers and the AV cables will come out and hit 
this ground station right here to hit the diversity box, so I don't have to worry about putting so much stuff on this one tripod. So I have two tripods now, and hopefully everything will work out great. But this setup right here is going to end up going on the Bixler, the uh, big plane. But I'm going to play around with it on my slow. It's just a little FPV ground station update. I've been flying like every weekend now. Even hooked up with a couple guys last weekend, and um, or four of the guys, and they're flying. They doing all kind of 3D stuff. They got jets. They got choppers. They got T-Rex. Big birds, small birds, and we they flew all day. I did some AP from the air, you know, uh, video downlink with my slow stick. And this the Bixler right here is it's all ready. Got the dual pan tilt right here on the top, ready to go. And everything's mounted inside. I'm just going to change out this uh, 5.8 gigahertz transmitter to the 1.2 and put it in the air. Dragon link is all ready, ready to go. And for any DJs that are watching this video, yes, we're still DJing. Wedding season is about to kick up for us, so we got weddings lined up already this year. So you start seeing more gig logs on that, but that's just a, what I've been doing the past several months in the wintertime as far as flying planes and everything. That's my hobby since a little kid. So I'm going to put a few clips from today's flight. You know, it's nothing fancy, just a regular video downlink. I didn't record anything HD. Um, that's about it. We got a little over a thousand feet up in the air. Just to, but the crosswinds, that's the only thing. Crosswinds are crazy. You get up in that little slow stick, it's so light, it just gets blown around, blown around. Half the time you just battling the wind, trying to fly back and just pushing back, pushing back. But it was fun.